So the Orion XS from Victron is a really interesting thing. So this handles AC to DC charging. So what the Orion XS does, and this is what I love about Victron, all of their labeling just makes sense. So this is a 12 to 12 dash 50. So 12 volts in, 12 volt out, up to 50 amps. Now this unit is tiny. I used to have the 10, uh, sorry, 121230. And that was for coming from a, a regular alternator or another battery bank coming into your 12 volt lithium bank and it comes out at up to 50 amps. It's all adjustable, which is really cool. Now, once it gets a 12 volt source, it's actually gonna turn on and we'll be able to use it. And then I'm gonna run this one into our ground block. It has this little block connector and it says remote L and H. It can actually take a signal in to do low or high power charging because sometimes you don't want to do all 50 amps. That might be a limit. Maybe you're going up a big hill and you're in an old camper and you don't want to have that level of amperage. So you can actually set it to a lower amount, which is kind of slick. So the bulk lit up for a second and it's blinking the Bluetooth. So let's do this. I'm gonna show you guys how the Orion works. We have one of them that's outputting in power supply mode and we have this other one here. Now it's blinking in front of me and it's asking for my pin. So this is my Orion XS. It says, why is my charger off? It's got my input voltage is 12.8, which is exactly what we wanted. My output voltage, um, oh sorry, my output voltage is 12.8. My input voltage is 0.1. So it's noticing that on the outside, it's got 12.8 coming in. That's where it's powering itself from. So the beauty about this is that it can go either direction. But if I hit the, why is my charger off one, it doesn't have enough input voltage. So what's beauty about this system is you can set the level of when you want it to kick in. So if you're just sitting there with your stereo on or whatever in your car, you don't want the starter battery to be drained by the system. So this input voltage has to be at a certain level. One, it's also disabled. So I've disabled this because in the winter, I don't want my boat to be charging um, the lithium bank below freezing. So there was a reason I had to do that. So I turned the charger off in settings. And then the last reason is engine shutdown detected. So it noticed that the engine turned off, or in this case, it doesn't have an engine. <laughs> so it can actually do that, uh, you know, automatically engage. And it also has a, a timer where it will wait for the engine to run and uh, get enough power back into the starter to make up for the time that it was off and then uh, charge the battery for this, this, whatever the starter used, and then it kicks in. So really amazing system here. And so when we go through this, we could enable the charger. We can set the current levels, input and output, and then the lockout levels. And we can even do VE Smart Networking. And what VE Smart Networking does from Victron Energy is it connects all of these devices to each other with Bluetooth. So if you're solar charging, your DC charging and your AC charging. So these are three different charging solutions. It can actually optimize the charging to your system from all three of these units at the same time. So really, really a nice advantage when you have all of the Victron gear working together.